Hi guys, how are you? Thanks very much for joining me again. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about hormonal behavior in parrots. So exactly how you can tell that your parrot is displaying hormonal behavior, as well as some tips on how you can deal with the hormonal behavior that's taking place. So having said that, what we really need to ascertain is when would a parrot act hormonally? It's a very good question. Really, and there's always exceptions to this, but for the most part, there's really two times that a parrot will behave in a really hormonal fashion. The first time is when the parrot goes through puberty. Now, puberty can occur really within a, a wide range of time frames. It really depends on several factors, but a lot of it depends on the species of parrot that you're dealing with. Generally, smaller parrots will go through puberty sooner than larger parrots will. So for example, a parrotlet may start to go through puberty at about eight, eight months to about a year, depending on, again, several factors. You may have a pionis that may start to go through puberty at about two years of age, and then you may have something like the larger parrots that may start to go through puberty at about the five-ish year range, kind of around there. So it really depends on your environment, the environment the parrot is in, as well as the species. Now, the second time when your parrot may display hormonal behavior is during mating season or springtime. So depending on where you live, I'm in Canada. Springtime here is around it can start anywhere from like middle of March, end of March, and it can go to about June-ish. So again, it depends on the species, it just depends on the bird's environment. There's so many factors that come into play with that. And having said that, those are the two main times when a parrot will display hormonal behavior. But again, depending on the bird, sometimes the hormonal behavior will be barely noticeable. Sometimes your bird will go through puberty and you won't even know it went through puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you can have a parrot that goes through springtime and it displays zero hormonal behaviors. And if you have that, you are one lucky person, let me tell you. <laughs> However, it usually is not like that. So without further ado, let's start the countdown on how you can tell your parrot is hormonal. Number one, they start to bite. <laughs> you may have had the perfect parrot. Your parrot may have been tame. You could do anything with it. You could flip it on its back. You could cuddle it. You could pat it. You could give it scritches on its neck. It would let you do anything. One sign of a hormonal parrot is out of nowhere, they bite you. This parrot has never bit you before. You don't know what it feels like to be bitten by a parrot. And all of a sudden, you're bleeding. You have a chunk out of your hand missing. <laughs> a definite first sign of hormonal behavior. Again, biting can be the result of several different things, but in this instance, it can definitely be driven by hormones. So how do you deal with a biting parrot? In general, the best way when you have a pubescent parrot or it's springtime is to ignore the behavior. So if your parrot bites you, even though it's really, really, really hard to do, don't give them a reaction. Don't quickly draw your hand back if you can help it and scream and say, ow, oh, you hurt me. Don't do that. That in a parrot's brain is saying, oh, look, I'm getting a reaction. Let me do that again. And then it only takes once and they realize, oh, this is a really fun game where I'm getting what I want and then they keep biting you. So do your best not to react to a parrot bite. It's counterintuitive, but it works. The second tip uh, when you have a biting, hormonal biting parrot is avoid the bite. I should have said this first avoid the bite altogether. So you really need to get good at understanding your parrot's body language. So some parrots, like Newman here, if he's about to bite, he will puff up the feathers on his head and he'll crouch down and that's how you know he's going to bite. So different species display different body language. Uh, some of them are the same across all species, but some are not. Some parrots will pin their eyes, meaning the pupils will dilate and contract quickly. And that means they're in a state of excitement and that's usually um, a sign that they could bite you uh, if you get close enough to them. So avoid the bite, get to know your parrot's body language. And by avoiding a bite, obviously you're not look, taking the risk of reinforcing that behavior. But if you do get bit, do your best not to react. I know it's hard, 
but try. <laughs> it really will pay off as the bird moves through the puberty or the hormonal stage and afterwards you'll get your old parrot back. A second way that you can tell your bird is hormonal, again, this doesn't just mean they're hormonal, but it's one of the ways you can tell they're hormonal is it starts screaming or it starts becoming much more vocal than it was before. Some parrots are a little bit quieter than others. Every parrot is noisy, but some, you know, I mean, if you have a Bork's parakeet, they're pretty quiet. Uh, a cockatoo or a macaw are pretty loud. Usually, if they're hormonal, you'll either see an increase in the frequency that they make noise, or they'll just actually get louder <laughs> when they're making noise. Uh, either way, it will pass. It's, it's temporary for the most part. But the what you want, let me rephrase, what you want to avoid is just like with biting, you don't want to give the behavior any attention or acknowledgement. When they start screaming, more than what you're used to or make you know, whatever that is do not react to it don't look at the parrot don't turn your body towards the parrot do not go up to it and say oh what's wrong oh and the parrot's brain wow you're giving me attention this works let me keep doing it so just don't just ignore it the third sign is if your parrot starts plucking themselves now parrots can pluck for many different reasons. Uh, it could be a health reason, there could be stress factors externally in their environment that are causing them to become anxious, um, or it could be hormones, or it could be a combination of both. Uh, this is Keely. Keely is my brown-headed parrot. And Keely, as you know, she has a little bit on her chest. I don't know if you can see that. It's plucked. I generally like to refer to this as her breeding patch <laughs> because in my experience with her, she's six, it's hormonally driven. So every spring she plucks it out and it gets to be about this size. Uh, throughout the balance of the year though, she lets it grow back and she may only like tweeze one uh, feather here and there, but not as much as this. This is actually getting better. <laughs> it was a lot worse uh, about a month ago. Um, but this is definitely, Keely gets broody, and this is definitely um, a, a hormonally linked behavior uh, in her. Uh, and this can happen in males or females. Um, you may find they start to overgroom their flight feathers as they grow in and they look really ratty. Uh, it could be on the chest, which is a common area. They could start plucking around the legs. Um, they could start plucking their butt. It could really happen anywhere other than their head because they can't pluck their own head. If your bird is losing feathers on its head, take it to the vet because it might be sick. But definitely this is one way you can tell your parrot could be hormonal. What do you do to address it? That's the big question. The best thing you can do is a, like I said, take it to the vet, the avian vet. See what they have to say, but some things that I've found that have helped me is to remove your bird from other birds. Sometimes if you have a bird of the, well, the opposite gender, it could be triggering their uh, mating behavior. Sometimes if you have a bird of the same gender and they're beside each other or in close proximity to each other, uh, let's take two males in the same close proximity to each other. They could actually be competing for a female that you have in the same environment and that could start to get them to pluck. So there's so many different things. That one, I really don't have a definitive answer. Sometimes it's trial and error, but definitely check with your avian vet for some suggestions. The fourth thing is that your parrot starts displaying mating behaviors towards you or perhaps some other parrots that are in its environment. Did you see what Keely just did? You see her rubbing her butt against me? Don't do that. That's a definite mating behavior for a female, okay? They, they rub their butts on you. Uh, another um, indication could be them doing a little mating dance for you. Um, if they're uh, a male in particular, they can start regurgitating they kind of wiggle their neck and they try and feed you that's another uh, strong mating um, behavior if you notice these things in your parrot as much as you can just discourage it ignore it don't let them do it for example when Keely tries to regurgitate for me I just 
I walk away or I put her back in her cage. I try and discourage it. Um, I can't always help her train her rubber little butt on me, um, but when that happens, I usually just put her down. Um, so the best thing when they start displaying those behaviors, at least what I found, is just ignore it, walk away, and come back. It will pass. <laughs> it doesn't last forever. Uh, just pretend they're not doing it. And the last way you can tell is when your parrot starts to get territorial. Usually territorial behavior will be displayed around their cage or around any toys or any stands that they feel belong to them. Territorial behavior can even be displayed because they think you are their territory or their mate, etc. And they will guard you against other people or other pets. So this is Little Bean, my male blue parrotlet. And he has started, he went through um, a really major molt. He is about nine months old now and he's starting to go through his little puberty. Plus it's spring, which isn't helping. Plus I have a female parrotlet in the home as well and that doesn't help either. So he definitely has become cage territorial. So what that means for him is when I put my hand into the cage, <laughs> he bluffs like he's going to attack me. Um, he'll run up right just shy of my hand, he'll go, like he's gonna bite me. And usually how I deal with that, with this little guy, is I just go slow. I keep my hand far away enough that he's not going to actually bite me, but I just wait a few seconds before I insist, you know, that he step up and move my hands towards him. I just let him go nye, nye, <laughs> at me for a few seconds and then I just tell him up up again and he doesn't bite me. He will kind of hold on with his beak to my onto my hand, help him step up, but he won't bite me. He doesn't bite me. Another thing that can really help if your parrot is being territorial is before they get to that point is to stick train them. That's when you have a, a perch or a dowel or anything, a stick, and essentially you train the bird instead of to step up on your hand, which of course you want to make sure they know how to do, but you also train them on command to step up onto the stick. And that way, if they are territorial and you need to get them out of their cage, you can put the, the stick into the cage and ask them to step up onto the stick, and the stick can become the object of their aggression if they are going to, you know, bite. Um, this also works if they're on their play stand and they don't want to get off and they're, you know, they're looking like they're going to bite you, they're flaring up, or their eyes are pinning. You can get them to step up on the stick and you also need when you, um, when they're on the stick, you also have to beforehand have them trained so they step off of the stick on command too. So that's again for another video, but that's another way that you can um, help to mitigate the effects of a, a territorial parrot. So I hope you found some of these tips helpful. This is Mochi. She's my American yellow female parrotlet. She just went through a really big mold and now all her pretty feathers are coming back. Let's see if she'll give me a kiss. Kiss, kiss. Thank you. Oh, good girl. She's so cute. I love these little guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And please feel free to like and subscribe and feel free to leave any comments below. I love I love to hear from you. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Bye.